The sound of a mournful piano echoes through the 9-11 memorial. It is coming from the top of World Trade Center 7. Marcus Robinson is an artist. Capturing the transformation over a long period of time of this extraordinary historic place in New York and honoring the heroic spirit of the men and women who are doing the rebuilding. His studio, high atop the first rebuilt World Trade Center building. It's one of the most extraordinary spaces anywhere in the world with a view over the whole of Manhattan. But his mind is always on the site below his feet, where he has been granted extraordinary access to document the rebirth over the last five years. The site itself is like this gigantic three-dimensional, ever-changing work of art. Marcus draws and paints on site right next to the workers, but he is also creating time-lapse films of the rebuilding effort. Seeing something over a long period of time that the naked eye can never comprehend just by standing somewhere and seeing. On September 11th, Lower Manhattan didn't just lose a pair of skyscrapers. Nearly 3,000 people lost their lives when the Twin Towers collapsed. That's why Marcus isn't just focusing on the structures and the machinery, but on the people rebuilding New York. Blood, sweat, and tears of men and women doing the rebuilding. It's totally extraordinary. Run it, run it, run it. His films are up close and personal. I've got to work with this guy all day long. I should be paid triple for having to deal with him. But the big work takes place up on the 48th floor, where he starts from afar, then approaches the spirit of the workers to preserve their contribution with oil on canvas. Whatever the pioneering spirit was that built New York City and in a wider sense was part of the spirit of America, that there's something totally alive and vibrant on this site that is that, is that quintessential spirit. Uh, I think there's something very inspiring about working in this format. The site is it's a gigantic site. There are five, four or five different buildings all being built at the same time. Up close, it's hard to see the big picture. But with distance, say 10 years or so, the events of 9-11 come into sharper focus now that the hole in the ground is filled with hope. Celebrating something more timeless and more universal about the human spirit, which is that no matter how badly somebody can be knocked down or, or damaged, that the natural instinct is to want to start healing and rebuilding. something amazing has been accomplished and one major part of the healing process has taken place.